Welcome to Physics 1101. I'm Paul Francis, the course convener, and in this short video I'd like to explain some of the key features of how this course works. Now this course is a highly unusual course in that we don't have lectures. It's what's called a flipped course. Now the reason we do this is because the evidence is that lectures are an extremely inefficient way to get information into people's heads. Let me show you some data. Here are data from this course back in 2015 when we still had lectures in it. This axis shows the number of lectures students attended in one part of the course, and this axis shows their exam mark. And what you can see is there's almost no relationship between how many lectures people attended and the exam mark. There is formally a slight upward correlation, but almost certainly that's not because the students learnt anything from the lectures, it's because keen people go to lectures and keen people do well. And this has been backed up by many, many other studies. Basically, lectures don't teach anybody anything very much. They give you an illusion that you think you understand what's going on. You can nod along to a good lecture and say, mm, yeah, that seems sensible. But you don't really understand it because it's not active. Psychology shows that to really learn something, it's not enough to listen to it. You have to think about it. You have to say, hmm, that's a bit different from what I learned last week. Or, no, I disagree with that. Why is he saying something different from what I think? Or you need to discuss it with someone else. You need to try problems. You need to be active. Passive, just sitting there listening, evidence shows very little goes in. It gives you illusion of understanding, but not the reality. Whereas active learning, when you're debating, discussing, often it feels much worse. It feels really confusing and difficult, but that's because you're coming to develop real understanding. So what are we going to do if we don't have lectures? Well, here's the course wattle page. First thing you need to do, if you haven't already done it, is sign up for a workshop and sign up for a practical class. Then you need to go down to week one, and each week will start off with a number of lessons. These lessons more or less replace lectures. Each lesson it tells you roughly how long it's going to last. If it says 30 minutes, that means there's about 20 minutes of video, and I've allowed 10 minutes for you to think about things and do the questions. And for each, there's a whole series of parts of the lesson, each of which will consist of a short video, only a few minutes long, and full text underneath. So it's up to you whether you prefer to read the text or watch the video. A lot of students watch the video first time, and then when they go back to revise it, they use the text because it's quicker. And at the end, you go to the next page. And every now and then there will be a question to test you about what you've learned. So here, for example, is one of the questions, a simple multiple choice one. These are not worth marks. They are simply to help you reflect on what you've just learned in the video and help think about it. Now, once you've done all the lessons in a particular week, in the, for the first week there are three of them, you will then be able to do a pre-reading quiz. This quiz is designed to test what you've just learnt in the lessons, and it is worth marks. And you need to do this uh, before the deadline, which at the moment is 10pm uh, on Monday night. So you should watch these sometime during the first week, then do the video, and that will get you ready for week two's workshop. Your next step is to come to one of the workshops. The workshops, which start right in week one, before you've done any videos, are where you actually get a chance to practice what you've learned, to practice your physics by doing complicated real-world problems in groups with us, the academics, in to help you. Here's where it is, building 38A, going through the front door and into the physics studio, where we work in teams to solve more difficult and challenging problems using the content you've seen in the videos. Each week in the workshops, we'll do a series of difficult, complicated problems, and after the workshop is finished, or during it if you have time, you should write them up, and then before the following Monday, 10pm, submit them here on Wattle. The other thing you need to show up to each week, starting in week two, not the first week, are the labs, the practicals. Here's how you get there. Uh, you walk through this tunnel in between side of building 38A, Then you come round the corner, through the glass doors, 
add it to the first year labs. And you can also come in from the other side, up this walkway here. If you have any questions about any aspect of the course, either talk to us in class or up here on Wattle you can join a Facebook group. If you don't want your private details used by Facebook, that's perfectly fine. Sign up with a fake email or fake name, that's perfectly fine by me. This is a place where when you're stuck with the homework or have a question about anything, you can just post it and get rapid responses from us and from other members of the class. If you need to get in touch with the course staff for any reason, for example if you are sick and have to miss a class, the email is up here on Wattle. Let us know if we can help you in any way. If you need help with any aspect of the course, doing the homework, writing up the labs, anything whatsoever, you can come to the drop-in sessions listed here on Wattle. They're held in the Physics Studio, the same place as the workshop, every Friday 2 to 3 p.m. or Monday 1 to 2 p.m. If you can't make them, email us here and we can arrange a separate session. So that's how this course is going to work. Any questions, email us, ask us at the workshops, ask us in the labs, or post something on the course Facebook page. For week one, all you need to do is come along to whichever workshop you've signed up on. And then, before the following Monday, do the first set of online lessons and hand in the homework from the first workshop. Starting in week two, you need to come to the labs. Looking forward to seeing you in class.